Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today we are actually going to go through my napkins, which I never use, and we are going to find some that will work to decoupage on these little bags here that we're going to use in our Easter journals. So I actually store, I have a metal drawer organizer. This is what the drawers look like. It is vintage. I got it probably a year and a half, two years ago, I guess, at an estate sale. Um, I got a very good price on it because I think I only gave like $60 for it. And it actually has three rows of 10 of these, so there's a total of 30. So it's sitting in the small hallway just outside my craft room. And that's where I have a lot of different stuff stored out. So it has definitely mostly my stamps. I have a lot of wooden stamps and stuff. Um, so they're stored in there. All of my, um, let's see, what else? My wax for my wax seals, uh, hot extra hot glue guns, just all kinds of stuff out there. My um, media stuff and all that. So yeah, so I just pulled out two of those drawers and I thought we could go through these. I actually already found a couple for a different project. Um, but just going to look and see if we can find some that will work. We just want the background um, for the bags and then we can put some Eastery on it. So I like that one. This one, I have a rose project coming up. So we're going to go ahead and pull that one out. And I do keep the bags, guys, because they are good uh, for making covers. So the white backs keep those you could also use that to make um like texture with uh if you wanted texture on something that's a those are good to use so make sure to save those so i think we'll keep out that one and like i said a lot of this is going to be covered up because we're going to put something over it no i don't think that one's going to be big enough so let's just go through these fairly quickly, I hope. Let's see if we can find something that will work. I'm going to keep those out. Hope you're all doing well today. It is it's the same as that one. Yeah, that one won't work. Um, it's pretty early getting a late start. I am working 9 to 5 today. It is Friday when I'm filming. Jazz did this, guys on a piece of um, paper towel. All right, let's see. That would get covered up. That might be good. Let's see, how many did we need? Uh, two, four, six. One, two, three. Yeah, it's supposed to have some rain on and off today so I'm like well I'm pretty much working all day anyway that one might work one, two three four so we need two more I think I'll use that oh look that would be cute didn't even know I had that in there so we'll use that Too, I think I think that's six already so yeah maybe we should just stop there okay so we didn't even have to look in the other one those are gonna be for an upcoming project so we we'll just put those on top Let's just look really quickly I kind of sort of went through them. Oh, that would be cute for... Would that fit? Let's see. That would be cute for Easter. Oh, yeah, that'll fit. Well, let's definitely use that one and this one. So that's two. There's another little piece of that. Okay, I don't think, I think we got it. Alright, so let me sit these over here. Alright, so let's just get started with this one. Since we know we want to use it. Okay. Get 
our Mod Podge open. Don't use Mod Podge that much. I should, but I don't. this on here hopefully let's get that further out of the way oh yep 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 a little bit tired tonight I slept okay but I did dream guys I had the dumbest dream oh my gosh I had a dream I had a pet chicken well it was a baby chick I'm like why do I have a baby chick was so strange a very very strange I woke up and I'm like oh where's my pet chick at and I'm okay if it's wrinkled up guys it does not matter to me if it's wrinkly and then we're just gonna tear that not worried about that either yep that'll be cute then we'll get a little bit over the top but yeah not sure what's up with having a baby chick did want to get these done this morning so that they could be drying while I was at work My husband's already gone in he works seven to seven on friday saturday and sunday although he did go in yesterday he had a um co-worker and friend whose um wife had to have a medical procedure so my husband went in so he could take off and be there oh look so one side's not and the other side's got this glittery stuff on it don't think i want the glitter All right, so if you've not used tissue paper before, and you can use uh, either tape, sometimes I just use washi, whatever's closest to me, and it appears to be this washi. I just take a little piece off and grab it in the corner and pull it back. Now, sometimes there's two or three layers on these. Um, yeah, so just make sure. And I think we could just cut a square and be good. Yep. Um, so just make sure you get all the layers off. Because if not, you're actually going to be gluing down that um, under layer instead of the actual layer that you want to. And we have more Easter eggs for another time or another project. Who knows? Mod Podge on here. These bags are small, so it actually goes pretty quick. If you cut, make sure you don't cut your bag. And then we, we can pull that off the side whenever it dries. It'll be good. Well, these are going to be cute. And then maybe in the next video we could decorate them. Or I can go ahead and do that and then just show it to you guys. So we still have lots and lots of ephemera to make. Um, for three journals and that's just the um, tall skinny journals okay so let's see what we want next we'll go ahead and do this blue right here some pretty colors maybe 
maybe I'll go right down through here. Did not cut straight at all. Excited about doing these Easter journals. Have you guys started doing Easter? Um, I know I've seen a couple of people that started. I think Rachel started. Okay, this one there. Fixing to be three down already. I know I've seen some people, I don't really do napkins on bags a lot, but I need to start because I have bukus of bags. Okay, we'll wait and cut that off once that's dry. And then once we get these done, looks like I lost a bag. Yep. Okay, let's see. This one. And we could probably do like one here and get some of the purple and then do one from the bottom here and get the pink. I think we'll do that. Okay. It is sticking. We got it. All right. So these will be the last two because I don't see where that other one went. I don't see it on the floor anywhere. Nope. So I will do that one later. I'm going to do it this way. All right. Quite enough that time. Oh, I was looking too, guys. To my husband and I want to take a beach trip this year, so we were looking for um, we're just looking over some reservations for Daytona. That's our favorite beach ever. It's where we prefer to go. Uh, the girls just booked their trip last night. Um, I forgot when they're going. I'm not sure if it's their March trip or their June trip. I think it's their March trip. So, um, yeah, for the last couple of years, Angela and Veronica have, um, started going on vacation together and taking the kids so it's the two girls and um their two kids so the two girls 
the four kids. They have a really good time. Jaden does really well. He will be, gosh, what will, we, what will he be, 14 this year? Um, he's the one with autism. And a lot of times in environments like that, he has a hard time. But he has been doing really well. He has already decided he is going to get a job and get his own apartment. <laughs> it's so funny when he talks about it. He is like dead serious. So he's going to work at a movie theater, he said. Like, okay. But yeah, he actually does really well. You just got to make sure to have him a pool because he is a water baby for sure which they all are and my kids were all three of them absolutely loved water we've had a pool since they were preteens, i guess all right we're gonna go ahead and get that back on there that is parchment paper guys if you're just starting out and you're not familiar if you put the parchment paper over your Mod Podge, and I, I saw this from Gail Augustinelli, and then put your lid on there, then you don't have to worry about the lid sticking. And because that's sticking out so far, I just put a rubber band around it. And there we go. So that is ready for next time. And I have some that's actually watered down Mod Podge for, uh, like, making the covers with napkins because it's actually watered down. Uh, Mod Podge and I just put a W on the lid in a permanent marker so I knew what was what. Alright guys, yeah, I do not see there's our three journals. I do we gotta figure out what we're gonna do on the cover. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I do not see that other bag, so I will do that later. Um let's see, I want to lay these out here so I'm thinking I gotta go clean that up that we'll just do this so that they could be drying again while I'm at work today really doesn't take it that long to dry so that's good so those are our five bags our Easter journals just need to do one more all right guys thank you all so much for joining me this morning I know it's a quick video but I do have to run and finish getting ready for work just wanted to get these going and bring you guys along with me so they could be drying all right I love you guys thank you all so much and we'll see you next time bye bye